This video explains how to draw two ggplot2 box plots on the same x-axis position in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you an example and for this example we first need to create a data frame as you can see in lines 2 to 4 of the code. So after running these lines of code a new data set called data is appearing at the top right. And if you click on this data set, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame contains two columns, whereby the first column is a group indicator and the second column contains random numeric values. Now, if we want to draw our data using the ggplot2 package, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines 6 and 7 of the code. I have installed the package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 7 of the code. And after running this line of code, we can draw a ggplot2 box plot with default axis specifications, as you can see in lines 9 to 13. So after running these lines of code, you can see that a box plot graphic is appearing at the bottom right of our studio. And as you can see, each of our boxes is occurring at different axis location. Now let's assume that we want to move one of these boxes to the left to show two boxes at the same x-axis position. Then we first need to create a data set which contains location values, as you can see in lines 15 to 17 of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data set called data lock is appearing at the top right. And we can click on this data set to open a new window which shows structure of our new data set and as you can see we have added a third column to our data frame which is called location and this new column contains location values for each of our groups so as you can see the groups a and the groups b contain the location one however the group c contains the location two now in the next step, we can use this new data frame to draw our plot once again. And this time we are specifying this data frame within the ggplot function. And then we are setting the x-axis to be equal to our location column. And in addition to that, we also need to set the position argument within the geomboxplot function to be equal to identity. So if you run lines 19 to 23 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that we are recreating our plot. And this time, the first two groups A and B are shown at the same axis position on the x-axis. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.